what's going on YouTube welcome back to the channel and today we're going to talk about if you are new and want to get into making your own bass lures or crappie lures I'm going to give you a rundown of most of the stuff that you're going to need first thing you're going to need is modes and these things are not cheap now angling AI was running a sweet deal on these two and I just got them in this is a seven and a half ribbon tail. This is an open pour mode. I paid 30 bucks for it. Now this is a 10 inch ribbon tail. Open pour, paid $33. Not bad at all. It's actually my first angling AI modes. Now these modes here come from quality ejector. I have not had no complaints whatsoever about them. Shoot, work great. This is my flute mode. I can make 12 flutes in one shot. Give y'all a little rundown of what they look like. Uh, this is some I was just playing around with. This is like a glitter bomb, I called it. Basically no color, just all kind of different kind of glitter. Just something to play around with. And, but... I'll make some real bright blue ones. I call them sapphire. Made some hot pinky bubble gum. Basically, if you like fishing with flutes, this is uh save you money in the long run, you know. But it's gonna take a little bit. This mode here was uh two hundred dollars. All right, moving on to the next mole. This mole is a finesse worm. Now this one can make uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This thing here can shoot 18 finesse worms in the one shot. I think this one was two hundred dollars. So this one here, I brought off a guy uh, for eighty dollars. You could call this in a stick bait, cinco. Not sure who the mold is by. Well, there it is up there, kmodes.com. That's a cinco. These you don't shoot, you pour. Not bad for 80 bucks. Makes very good baits. I'm showing you what the expensive cost of this if you ever want to get into it. It's a fun little hobby to do. You can come up with all kinds of different colors. I mean, the colors and the glitter are endless. There is just, you can just make all you want in a variety of colors. Now, we're going to turn over here. If I can get the camera pointed down. Now, here's your injector. These things here can run anywhere if you want a good one. You know, if you want a real good one, at least $100 or more. I own two of them all my leftover plastics I bag them up so they don't get dirty and I can go back and reuse them and now when it comes to the colors and the glitter I like using baked plastic as you can see this is green pumpkin pigment I got the regular watermelon pigment uh, June bug I, mean, I got I even got some uh, dead on brown and all kind of colors I even got some sweet potato color and you get in all your glitter so you, this is your 0.25 hex glitter uh, we got some bigger stuff uh, 0 0.040 really love red down here in the south something about using a little bit of red flakes they love that red color now 
that just about covers on the soft plastic side and of course you got to have a microwave and what I do not have yet is a deglasser uh, I'm planning on purchasing one here maybe in a couple months I've been into this bake making for a few years now and if you don't get a deglasser sometimes you're gonna have bubbles you're gonna have little bubble uh, soft spots in your bait here and there and you know if, if you do just tear them up remix it reheat it so like now once you use your microwave to cook plastic in never use it again for anything else but plastic do not heat up no food whatsoever it's not good for you all right now let's talk about if you want to get into painting your own crankbaits i'll move over here this is the machine i use bought it off amazon i think i paid 200 dollars come with a whole bunch of kit and a whole bunch of cheap bottle of uh paint this is the little brush that it come with it's just a master airbrush it's a great starter but if you're looking to really get into painting your crankbaits or whatever you want to paint, this is what I recommend. This is the Iowa Eclipse HPCS. This, this will run you about $150 at Hobby Lobby. But it's well worth it. I mean, it, it's like night and day when you paint with this one, and then you paint with this one. Also, Here's all my colors that I like using. I mean, I got anywhere from transparent, fluorescent, I use a lot of wicked. I got wicked colors. Now when you buy this machine, if you buy the whole kit, these are the little bottles that's gonna send you. Now there ain't nothing wrong with these. They, I actually still use them today for certain little small projects on crankbaits and stuff these are the little glitters that i bought that i can put on the crankbait these are extra fine they're real real tiny you can get these at walmart what you cannot get at walmart is this in case you go on their website they might have it might not have it uh, i forgot about this heating up your soft plastic you're definitely going to need a heat gun to see what your temperature is but got all kind of colors i got q-tips i got some stirring sticks got some little cups and even got some old fishing line if you really want to get creative and make a design that's just basically you're not going to find it in the store you can just come up with all kind of stuff you just wrap this around your bait after you get you whatever color you want in the background just zigzag it back and forth make sure it's tied off tight then you can spray paint over it to the, your final color now when you unravel this you're going to have them streaks of lines whatever you had in the background running through that bait and also i use crackling if i want to make the bait look like it's cracking like it's bleeding it looks like it's just like lightning boats running through the crankbait with blood running out everywhere um, I like using this. Now this is tricky. You got to know how to use it, but it works great to crack your baits. All right, now we get over to. Let's see. Let me pull this one here out. These are great little bins if you want to store your baits in. You can get them at Lowe's, made by Craftsman. Now, now I buy most of all my baits from a company called Sugar Tit. Just look them up online called SugarTit.com, and they make some real good quality baits. Here's some square bill baits. You even got the little little wake little bitty things I painted, painted a lot of them like brown color
Here's you some poppers. Let's see any of the skirts with them. You can cut the skirts however length you want. So basically, you can paint this first, get it the way you want it. I got all different kind of baits here that I paint, and I have caught tons of fish off my own baits. I like to paint a lot of colors that maybe they ain't seen much of, or you know, a little, a little something weird, a little off of something. Like, what's it like to say, like that crackling or that fishing line running around? It got all different kind of lines in it and stuff. Uh, it's one of the new Whopper Poplars they came out with. Got like a little fat belly, real short. Spins real good. And most stuff you can get all this right here from Sugar Tip. Uh, here's all my eyes. You got all different kind of sizes eyes. All different colors. See, these are sixes, these are fives, these are sevens, these are eights, they're even bigger because all your crankbaits, when you buy them now, it's going to tell you what size the eyes are so you definitely gonna need to buy a you know pile up on you a bunch of eyes all different designs see these here are like cat eyes looks real good so you stock up on them now they even got the hooks and everything I buy mine in a big old quantity of them Got a lot of different sizes. Got some bigger hooks to go on the Whopper Poplars. I use I use different sizes on versus the front versus the back. Got to have some O-rings. There's a lot you got to. It's a lot you got to go through to make baits, but it sure is fun. It's a great little hobby to get into. Uh, I make I make a lot of my stencils. I buy I even buy some stencils, but I got a machine that I cut out my own stencils. My wife's got a uh, Cricut machine, and I give you an example like this one. I had the machine cut that out. It didn't did all that right there. You just put it up on the bait, spray it, and you got them designs. Got these designs. They look real good. You can tell some of them that I've been using right here. These are your honeycomb designs. All different shapes and sizes of your honeycomb pattern. These are your scales. You'll be amazed at what you can just find at Dollar Tree to make uh, a cool background of and stuff. These are my, own, my rings, rings that I own. Yeah. All different sizes. Even got a pack of the oval, oval shape split rings. But I'm pretty well stocked up on hooks, rings. I got plenty of baits here to make, and what I like fishing with. Now. Last but not least, oh, if, also if you see over there, that's my weight maker. I don't do it inside here. You do not need to be smelling that. They do it outside, but I keep it inside here. Okay. Now, this is my spinnerbait setup. I have to use that weight maker to do my spinnerbait. See if I can see if I can find the. I can find one of these spinnerbait modes. Here it is. There's your spinnerbait mode right there. You can make a quarter, three eighths, or a half ounce. And it takes these right here. You just put that in there. You pour it. Bam! You done made it. And then I can turn around and uh, paint the head whatever color I want. I can leave it silver. I, I mean, I can leave it plain. Or I can paint. I can paint it chrome, paint it silver, paint it black. Or I can even get my airbrush and come up with a cool design of it. I got two different spinnerbait modes. 
comes to skirts. All kind of different kind of skirts, colors. Kind of got stocked up on them a little bit. This song's got the pepper mixed in with it. I don't mean you're going to use this whole thing. That's why I made the cut with scissors. So it's like one strip of it. Get this out. You don't have to use that. You might only want three or four strands mixed in with your white and blue to make it like a blue Harrington. I got some pearl. Got some silver. Silverish white. Then when it comes to blades, I'm stocked up on blades. Got all different shapes and sizes of just all kinds of different size blades. I'm a big Willow Man blade. I love Willow blades. Uh, the only reason I got the teardrops is for my dad. My dad loved fishing with the, with the Colorado blades, and I love the Willow blades. But I'll be pumping out another video and stuff showing uh, how I make my soft plastics. Now when it comes to putting your skirts on, you don't have to find your tool. Now, I don't know if they still make this or not. At the time I bought it, it took me a lot of hard, long looking for this. When I found out it was one of the best skirt makers there was to put your skirts on those spinner baits but I ended up finding a company over there in Canada they only had one left and I bought it immediately and I have not seen them back in restock yet so these are very very hard to come by I'll let you see the name of it maybe y'all can talk to them if you're interested it's called lure factors if I'm pretty sure they're out of Canada. It took about three or four weeks for this thing to get to me. And shipping's going to cost you. Shipping will end up costing you. For shipping and this little product, I think I paid around 70 something dollars. Just because the shipping was like 40 bucks. But you will not find this in the U.S. In case you buy it off somebody that's selling their stuff out. So very glad to have that other than that this is the other spinner bait that they that you can find and how to put your skirts on and I don't have no clue how to use that I've just always held on to it in case something ever happens to my other one now when you get in you want to start making your crappie stuff uh, I use a lot of the powdered paint by Protec stuff's not cheap now Let's see if I can get a price there you go I brought this at my local fishing hole it's actually the cheapest place I found it is where I live it is $6.49 you go online I think it's from the company Protec I think it's eight bucks a bottle so I end up getting white hot pink black red and I got yellow chartreuse and green chartreuse got all these from my local fishing hub got a real better deal and you go on YouTube they'll show you if, if you're in the crappie making you're gonna need you some of these it's, there's people out there that will show you how to make them. All it is, and see I got hot pink written written on here. This is like a little fish aquarium, little handle that puts air into it. And if you pop it out, as you can see, you got the hot pink powder up in there. And what I will do is it brought me a little fish aquarium plug it up plug this in into here then I can adjust the airflow of how you want to fluff this up fluff it up real good 
basically this is what it's going to look like I ain't took this part here off yet but here's your crappie crappie after I poured it into the, the mold so I brought me a crappie mold and you are gonna heat this over with a lighter I usually like to hold it turn it back and forth for about six seven seconds then you can get your pair of needle nose pliers hang on to it and you're gonna dip it down in there but you got to be quick dip bring it up real fast because if you dip and hold it it's gonna become clumpy anyway that's the color of your head's gonna turn out then you can get you a little small q-tip dip it in a little some white black paint whatever and make you some little eyes on each side of it i know it's a lot to take in and it's a learning process i can tell you that it took me a good while to learn everything here's some of my white heads right here that i made white ends up turning out real good all right guys i hope i've answered most of your questions if y'all are interested in getting in uh, bait making uh like like i said it's real fun but anything to do with fun is going to cost you a lot of money i mean it don't matter what you do in life these days if you want to have fun you better open your pocketbook because it's going to cost you i mean because you're looking at two four and you're looking at five just just right here in these modes i got 500 something dollars just in them modes then you look at this air compressor that's 200 dollars with the paints but then i went and bought a whole bunch of more better paints then i went and brought a 150 dollar better airbrush and that's just the modes and the stuff you ain't even brought none of the other stuff you got to buy your plastic which i ain't even showed y'all that get my plastic out right here all right there's your plastic this is soft plastic from bait plastics they got a great starter kit on there sends you three gallons you get to pick what you want you know do you want it medium you want it hard for crawls or flutes now i'm gonna tell you something flutes come a little bit harder but after buying the medium blend and fishing with the flutes with the medium band blend versus the soft blend the soft blend is going to give them more twitch a lot more lively action in a real soft blend uh, this stuff here runs around 46 dollars a gallon uh, i got about two gallons sitting here maybe a little bit more now it's better if you buy it in a five gallon bucket from them or if you're just starting out buy the starter kit it comes with three of these you get to pick i think five colors you get to pick five glitters they even send you 25 plastic bags to put your baits in which so i'll show you these they even send you these you get to pick the size that you want i i mean i ain't got nothing but good things to say about them they, they've been very great to me and had no problems anyway i've kept y'all long enough y'all tune back in we're going to be shooting some plastic here for the fall we're going to be sh we're going to actually be doing some open pours i have not poured these yet so make sure i get these babies cleaned up real good inside before i pour them and it's going to be interesting it's going to be it's going to be it's going to be for a big bass you you were big bass hunting if you're going to fish one of these this is perfect little size seven and a half what it means seven and a half is from this end all the way to this end that tail is scratched all the way out seven and a half inches same goes for the 10 inch all right guys y'all take care and we'll catch you on another one we out